Scientists discover ice in some ice. That's deep. Geologists unearth impure diamonds from mines in southern Africa, Zaire, Sierra Leone, and China, and discover they contain ice crystals, which means pockets of water may exist deep in the Earth's mantle. Researchers found more than a dozen diamonds with a distinct form of crystallized water known as Ice 7. Ice 7 has been studied in labs, but these samples are the first known natural samples. Because of the team's discovery, Ice 7 has been classified as a new mineral. The ice crystals suggest pockets of watery fluid may be present in the Earth's mantle, despite the high temperatures. The scientists estimated that diamonds were formed at depths between 610 and 800 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Researchers were unable to determine the exact location of the pockets or how common they may be. Don't go anywhere. Yellowstone supervolcano could blow faster than expected. New research shows Yellowstone's supervolcano could be good to go real quick. In geological terms, a new study of ancient fossilized ash suggests Yellowstone's supervolcano could become active much quicker than previously thought. Arizona State University researchers looked at fossilized ash deposits from Yellowstone's Lava Creek Tuff and found the volcano became active after two injections of fresh magma. They found the minerals showed that the critical changes in temperature and composition built up over a few decades. Supervolcanoes have an eruption magnitude of 8 on the Volcano Explosivity Index and spit out more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of hot rock and ash. For now, Yellowstone Supervolcano hasn't shown any indications of an eruption, although experts agree there's no way of knowing when the next blast will occur. Thank God nuclear war will have us wiped out before that can happen. The Four Main Types of Volcanoes a volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface where molten rock can escape. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates that shift and move. Volcanoes are often located at the fault lines between these plates. Cinder cone volcanoes occur when lava is ejected from a volcanic vent. Lava is shot into the air and pieces accumulate around the vent. This creates a circular or oval-shaped cone with a bowl-shaped crater at the top. Composite volcanoes contain a conduit system that channels magma to the surface. These volcanoes can have clusters of vents along the sides of the mountain where lava flows out. Shield volcanoes are large, broad volcanoes where lava pours out in thin layers, allowing it to travel farther down the shallow slopes. They build up slowly, with hundreds of eruptions creating many layers. Lava domes are created when small masses of thick lava can't flow far from the source, so domes pile up around the vent. The dome grows by expansion of lava from within, and the mountain forms from material spilling off the sides of the dome. It's going to be hell on Earth. Astronomers predict that all life on Earth will be wiped out in the future as the sun balloons in size and scorches the planet. Using the world's most powerful radio telescope, scientists forecast that within five billion years, the sun will grow into a red giant star 100 times its current size. The sun will swallow up and destroy its two closest planets, Mercury and Venus. All life on Earth is likely to be destroyed, but there is a possibility the rocky core of the planet could survive. In 7 billion years, the Sun will then experience intense loss of mass due to strong stellar winds that will see it evolve into a tiny white dwarf star. If the Earth's rocky core survives, it may continue to orbit the white dwarf star. The white dwarf star will be similar to Earth in size, but much heavier. One teaspoon of its matter will weigh about five tons. The astronomers' conclusions are based on examining an evolved star 208 light years away from Earth, which five billion years ago was very similar to our sun. The scientists say an object orbiting that evolved star is likely to be a planet, and further study could offer unique insights into Earth's eventual fate. Japanese drilling boat to probe the Earth's mantle this Japanese drilling boat could soon be the first ever vessel to penetrate the Earth's mantle. The Earth's mantle is found deep beneath the planet's crust and is much thinner on the ocean floor than on land. It's with this in mind that scientists plan to use the Chikyu drill boat to bore into the mantle by 2030. After sinking four kilometers to the ocean floor, the boat would drill through six kilometers of crust before reaching the mantle. 
The researchers want to investigate the mantle itself, and also if microorganisms exist within it. 